Hey y'all, what's up? So, it, it, it's, it's been a week, um, for sure. Uh, my other dog, her son, had surgery. She, I tried to get her into the vet on Saturday. Um, she had an appointment at 10 a.m. I drove an hour and a half one way. I waited for an hour. And I had other stuff that I had to do that I had planned around her vet appointment. And then they told me I wasn't an emergency and that I was going to have to wait another three to four hours. And I was like, I honestly wish I could do that, but I can't do that. And I drove back home without her being seen, which I feel really, really bad about. And then she started bleeding from her hoo-ha. And so... I rushed her at like 10 o'clock at night. I rushed her, well, yeah, about 10, it was about 9 30, 10 o'clock. I, I rushed her to um, the emergency vet, which was another hour going the opposite direction. And. I got her some antibiotics. She's been on the antibiotics and I thought she was doing good. Apparently she's not. She is a, uh, like it is freezing cold in my car. It's been cold. I have the air on low. I turned it down just a little bit so I could do this video. But if you hear it in the background, I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep her cold. Um, because she has been panting like this for like two days. And I thought, you know, maybe she just needed some water. So I gave her some Pedialyte and just stuff to keep her hydrated. And it doesn't matter how cold she is. It doesn't matter how much water she has. Like, th that's been her for like two days straight. It, it The panting gets on my nerves, but... You know, I try not to let it bother me because I know she's trying to cool down and I'm trying to keep her cold. And so it's just breaking my heart. And I noticed today, like I've watched her pee with her antibiotics and she seems to be, she seemed like she was doing good and that she was acting better in like her old self. And now it, um. Uh, She's just in a lot of pain. Like, she can't even... Like, she tried to pee and... She's been peeing trickles all day. It hasn't been normal. She's been swollen. And she has just been panting. I touch her and she's super hot. I mean, she could be in a freezing cold room. She's super hot. I don't know what's going on. This is, like, I don't have kids. This is my baby. Her and her son are my babies. And believe me, I treat them like my babies. Like, when I go to sleep at night, she sleeps on the couch because it's easier for her. And so I turn on the TV. And I give her a stuffed animal, pillow, blanket, the TV's on low, she has the fan on. She's comfortable. Um, but last night she was just so hot that she couldn't even stand to have a blanket on. And my husband keeps the house like pretty cold at night. And then she, we woke up, when I woke up, she was just really hot. And she had another vet appointment scheduled today um, at, at the vet that was an hour and a half away. And she has to get a monthly shot. I think it's like the equine or something shot that she has to get in her butt. 
because her joints are messed up and so that shot really helps her so I get that once a month so I had to go to that appointment and I asked the other vet to look at her because I told him what was going on and he's like I can't find anything wrong and I'm like no something's wrong so I called our other vet that I use for our other dog and uh, talked to them and they they are taking her as a walk-in today and I'm gonna talk to them about getting everything switched over because the vet that my boy dog uses is a lot closer and um, the vet that I go to um, didn't offer the I think it's called equine or it's some the shot she needs and now they're offering it and it's a lot closer so I'm gonna try to get everything switched over to this vet so that way I'm not driving an hour and a half one way saves me time and money <laughs> um it's just it's just been a lot it it's truly been a lot and I just <sighs> all right now my dog's my dog She's in pain. She's hurting. She's swollen. There's something seriously wrong. And the one vet that she does go to won't get her in. And so it won't tell me that there's something wrong. And that is irritating me beyond belief. And I feel like the devil's just attacking me with this right now. But I know that God, God has a plan, God has a purpose, and God is going to work out everything for my good, his honor, his glory, and his kingdom. It's all going to work out. Everything's going to be okay. Um, I'm, I'm trusting in the Lord. My flesh is upset because I feel like I'm a failure. But... I know that somehow, some way, God is going to work it all out. God's going to work everything out. It's going to be okay. How are you doing, princess? They, we just have to wait a little bit longer, okay? They said around 2 o'clock, okay? I know, I know. I love you. How do you feel? Take your heart. I love this dog to death. She's my princess. That's her nickname is Princess. Her real name is Shelby Lou Who Harry. But I call her Princess. She's also my Lulu. She's my little Lulu bear. What's Lulu bear? Yeah, I love her. I'm just... I'm hoping I get some answers because I'm a walk-in. I've been waiting here about uh, since noon <laughs> because I went from one vet to come straight here and that was an hour, well no, actually that ended up being a two hour drive instead of an hour and a half drive because I had to drive an extra 30 minutes out of my way. So I drove an hour and a half one way to drive two hours to the next vet to try to figure out what's wrong. And then I have a 30 minute drive home. Ooh, guys, I could just use all the prayers right now that I could possibly get because I am, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm, I'm just at my wit's end. I don't know what to do, but I know God's already got it worked out. God has it worked out. I just, I'm just, I'm ready. And I'm ready for, for her to be better.
and I'm wait I'm, not, I'm I'm waiting on like my other dog. Um, he had to have surgery because he had a growth on his chest, and it 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 started out like this big, and then it went to like this big. But every time he just barely bump it, it would cut open. It would bleed really bad. I mean, it was just a really bad situation and um, so we had surgery we removed it and now we're just waiting on the results to figure out if it was cancerous or not so I just feel like I'm really I feel like the devil's just really using my dogs right now to get to me it's like that saying when it rains it pours but God's always in control so I'm trusting in I'm trusting in the Lord My full faith is in him. Alright guys, I gotta get off here. I gotta call the vet, tell them I'm back from lunch, get checked, and see if I need to check back in, and whew, everything's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Alright. Bye guys.